Okay guys, this is going to be a little discussion on a cornfield uh, and weed management. We are at day 16 on this corn. Uh, this field I planted at a hair thinner. Uh, this is the bottom down next to the river. So in the intervening 16 days, we have had a little over five and a half inches of rain, I think. Uh, after I planted, I did have uh, two days dry, uh, then the rain came. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look down here at the weeds. Uh, what happened with this field, uh, planted into good moisture, the corn all started, didn't have to go too deep. There were two field cultivator passes uh, to get the ground to dry out in fit condition. But uh, at day, uh, right as the corn was spiking through, it spiked through perfect. Uh, you could row it at day five. Uh, at day seven, we did have a little bit of dry weather and it was kind of hot. And uh, that first rain shower on it was not very big. I think it was 30 or 40 or maybe 50 hundredths, half an inch or so. But Claire came out here. That was the day that I was cultivating those beans and wondering about what I was doing. Well, Claire was over in this bottom rotary hoeing. And so we're gonna look down here at the weed profile. And what I want to show you is in that first rotary hoeing, there is a morning glory that survived that first rotary hoeing. Uh, there is morning glory that has sprouted, you know, in the last six days, seven days. Uh, but what happened on this field was that half an inch rain brought a solid flush of weeds. And so this is an example where the rotary hoe really did you a good job. Uh, the corn was very small at that stage, and so there is a fair amount of damage. Uh, here's a little corn plant. Probably got messed up by the rotary hoe. Uh, there was some damage out here by the rotary hoe when the corn was that small. But we have completely reset the weed clock. All these little weeds here have germinated after that rotary hoeing. That rotary hoeing killed pretty much everything out here, all the little foxtails and all the velvet leaf. Not seeing any mature velvet leaf that survived. This at day 16, but I'm seeing, you know, morning glory that survived. Uh, the morning glory has not started vining out yet. They're saying we're going to have seven dry days now. And so when this field finishes drying out, we will come over here and I'm going to use the, uh, going to use the spike cultivator and I'm going to increase my speed and that will allow me to clean right next to the row and hopefully kill these morning glories that survived that first rotary hoeing. They're small enough yet that if I can put some dirt on them, uh, you look at, you know, I talk about the height differential. So the corn uh, has, what's it have? It has four full leaves on it now. The big plants have four full leaves on them. But the spike cultivator should be able to, we should be able to move right along and push, you know, an inch or two or three on this corn plant, three inches and, and take it up to that bottom leaf. Maybe two inches, two, two and a half inches. But uh, the rotary hoe knocked down the ridges. The field was ridged pretty good. Yeah, the rotary hoe knocked down the ridges and did a perfect job of resetting the weed clock. Uh, taking out that flush of weeds that was running right with the corn when the corn was planted. And so, yeah, uh, things are looking good. Right now on this field, if I do get my, you know, three or four more dry days, uh, I will be able to get in here with the spike cultivator and clean this field up perfect. And uh, there's enough of a height differential between the weeds and the corn. And I will be able to make it look uh, very good. So, anyway, uh, I don't know how with all the wet weather we have been as fortunate as we have. Uh, managing to squeak in uh, between the rainfall events uh, but we've been uh, pretty lucky on this field anyway uh, the other cornfield where I did show you uh, cultivating you know with the spike cultivator at day nine uh, 
it has it has basically the same weed profile except it was planted you know several days ahead of this and so the corn there is already boot high and uh, I will be looking at going in uh, on it not with the aggressive cultivator but with that starter cultivator and so uh, corn's looking things are looking pretty good surprisingly with all the rainfall events thanks guys